We're going to record the cloud. Hello, hello. All right. This is um, welcome to uh, our medicine cabinet makeover class. And we were just invited to do a roundtable discussion and just introduce yourselves, where you're from, and your top favorite oil. So, Zena, could you please um, say that again? Thank you so much in recording land. Sure. Sure. I'm Zena. I'm from Southern Illinois. I've been an oiler for four and a half years. Um, my favorite oil changes depending on what situation is going on. But right now, Hilichrism is one of my favorite oils. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for repeating that. I appreciate you. Um, so Hilichrism I use for um, nerve pain, um, nerve discomfort. Uh, it really helps with those um, with those uh, really strong discomforts. It's also powerful for thin blood. It's powerful to stop nosebleeds or help enhance that to just really solve that issue for you. Okay. So if you have a thin, if you have thin blood or if you have thin skin and thin blood, um, you uh, knock yourself a lot, um, bruising, that kind of thing. Um, helichrism, helichrism can really be an enhancement for your household. Uh, my daughter used to get nosebleeds all a lot. And so we have always had, had helichrism. Um, on board and it now comes in a roller even easier to use right Zena I really like it in the roller form um, it's powerful um, it's so funny people are like messaging me um, Kim you have have you have you used doTERRA in the past just tell us where you're coming from um, if you don't have a favorite um, doTERRA oil that's okay Okay, well, my name's Kim and I'm from Maryland. Um, and awesome. I have never used essential oils ever. Awesome. Well, welcome. Welcome. Thank I'm so you. excited for you to get started and learn Thank more you. about Me too. this. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Um sure. Miss Brooke and your household. Would you like to say um your names, um, where you guys are residing? I guess one of you can just tell me where you're coming where you're coming in at. Um and your favorite oil right now? Yeah. Uh, we're coming in from Allen, Nebraska. And mine awesome. is the rose water. <laughs> you're just rubbing that in. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're rubbing it in. It is motivation for the rest of us to get the rose water in our household. No, I love it. No offense <laughs> taken. Okay. Okay. Anybody else in that? your household? Drew. I'm Drew. Hi, Drew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And we have Keaton. Keaton, are you using any essential oils? I don't have any right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have new people. All right. Deep Steven, blue is what is favorite. your favorite essential oil? Deep blue. Awesome. Still deep blue. Sometimes it doesn't rotate, you guys. Um, it could be like a weekly thing for me. I'm mean, like this week. Um, I know Amanda is loving peppermint this week because she doesn't have air conditioning and she lives in Arizona. I mean, I should let her let her say that. Um, so sometimes it does rotate. So I'm glad you love deep blue. Deep blue is my favorite as well. Um, so Chris, um, can you tell us again where you're coming from and your favorite single oil? Cause it'll be similar to ours. That'd be great. Uh, yes, I'm from Ohio and I love Raven, but I just, I think I like the smell of it, but what I usually use on a daily basis is stress away. Okay. Do you have a and single oil that you like that we will all kind of resonate with? Like um that you use any that are not like a blend like um I don't even know like citrus or peppermint I, or... I use I like to use um I like to use lemon I like to okay. mix it or mix it in with what do you do water or do you in your diffusers I, I love to do in my infuser but water on my stove top mm -hmm. and sometimes I'll put herbs in with it as well just to get that smell out <laughs> Perfect. I love doing that too. I love lemon and we're going to talk about a little bit of lemon too. I love lemon in my laundry. Um, so I use lemon um, or even a purify, but lemon was my, is my first go-to for cleaning a lot of things. Uh, but I love it. My laundry to take that smell out too. That reminded me of that. Thank you so much for sharing, sharing that. 
Um, Miss Sue, where are you coming from? Oh, go ahead. Miss Sue, where are you coming from? And what's your favorite oil? I'm from O'Neill, Nebraska, and my favorite oil is frankincense. <laughs> I use a lot a of that after, all the time. <laughs> a woman after my own heart right there, <laughs> right there. I love frankincense. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much um, for sharing. Miss yes. Amanda White, how the heck are you doing? Are you surviving? We're surviving. It's hot. <laughs> it was, we got a new thermostat. It was 94 degrees in here. That's crazy, but it it's going to be a little loud. So my favorite oil, huh, I've got a lot this week. Peppermint was one. <laughs> Lemon and orange <laughs> were another lifesavers, but my favorite is patchouli. Oh, patchouli. Of course your favorite is patchouli. Um, I love that. I love that. Peppermint. She was so hot the other day. I'm like, girl, make a spritzer with peppermint. She's like, oh my gosh, it's sitting right in front of me. Like, peppermint why did I think of that? Body temperature. It lowers your body temperature instantly, sister. Oh my gosh, it is so funny. So if you have breathe even, if you don't have peppermint on you and you have breathe because you have it for your kiddo, It'll still, it has that pepperminty, peppermint part of it. It'll lower your body temperature really quickly. So it is really a summer friendly oil um, of choice. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you have a new thermostat. Winning your day in Arizona. Um, Miss Stephanie, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. Where are you coming in from? Oh, I'm from Canada, as you know, I'm in Ontario. Um, I actually have been using something uh, like a little different for an oil lately, but I've been using castor oil because it's good for like um, balancing hormones. And I actually started yep. using it on my wrist for carpal tunnel. I do like an oil wrap on my arm, but yep. I do want to get some oils to give it some kind of nice scent because it doesn't really smell that great. <laughs> It does not smell good. You're right. It does not smell good. I, yeah, I remember. Oh goodness. But I'm glad it's working for you. Thank you so much for being here from Canada. And I'm sorry about the confusion because I had it at that time um, that you originally thought, and we moved it up because I was thinking it was too late. So I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you um, moving and shifting quickly to be here with us. So you guys, thank you so much. Again, my name is Shannon. I'm so excited that you took time to be here today. And my favorite oil um, is frankincense as well. And you guys, I reason I really like frankincense is because I use it every single day under my tongue. Um, I use it for focus. I use it for central nervous system support. I use it for discomfort. It really helps all the things in your body, cellular level, um, it enhances your immunity. It enhances your mindset, all that. And I am a, I'm a believer that you need your mindset right away in the morning. And, um, it's how I reset my day as well. So without further ado, we're going to really talk about the top 10 oils because there is a, there's 101 ways to use all of the top 10 oils and it is a collection you can get. Right. Um, and if I do forget it is what Amanda purchased when she first started using essential oils. And it is what I purchased when I first started using essential oils as well. And so it is really a foundational collection because why? Because there is so many uses for all 10 of them. Okay. So we're going to talk about them because there's a place and a use for all of them. Um, some of them we're going to use a little more, um, <laughs> little less of because they're hot. Okay. Um, we're going to start with the hot one because it is really hot and we're going to start with oregano. Okay. Oregano is might be backwards. I don't know. Thumbs up if it's backwards or not backwards. Um, oregano is good for anything gross. First of all. Okay. Anything gross oregano is going to kill and enhance you to get rid of. All right. Um, if you have some sort of like, I would never forget the day. Oh my God, you guys story after story. Cause you guys, I have been using the essential oils for 10 years. So uh, several years ago, um, my eldest child is like, I don't even know what kind of human she is, but she dropped a table on her toe. Okay. Her big toe. And she didn't do anything about it. First of all. So the girl was in a lot of pain and she didn't say anything. Um, but one day, like she hit it on something and it like broke open and her whole toe was like a mess. So she had so much infection in there and I soaked her toe with oregano and Epsom salt and oh my land, you should have seen the water like bubble up. It was crazy. Second of all, I use a little too much. So duly noted one drop of oregano 
goes a long way because she was like, I think I would have passed out. So you just really only need one drop. So we immediately took her foot out, dumped. What do we use, Amanda? To dilute oregano. You use salt or milk. You use coconut oil. Oh, oh, in a bathtub, yes. But we took it to dilute it. We used coconut oil, not water, because it was going to, right? We need to dilute it. So I dumped coconut oil on her foot. So it stopped getting so hot for her. And, but it healed so quickly. Okay. So that infection went away. So, so anything gross. That was the grossest thing I've ever seen on my kid in all of her 20 years of life was that, that issue and that infection on her toe. But it was a lack of her conversating with me about it. Um, but oregano is really good for also for cooking, right? You can use it for cooking. You actually just want to dip your toothpick um, in the bottle and then stir it with your Italian dishes, right? You don't want to drop a whole drop. Otherwise, everything is going to taste like oregano, all right? Um, it's also really good for digestive support. So if you are not feeling well, um, you can actually put it in a capsule and then take it internally. It's going to help your digestion. Um, like if you're just really feeling yucky, right? Or if you just need aid in your digestion. So it's really going to help everything gross, but it's also really good for dishes that call, um, that call for oregano or some Italian, Italian seasoning. Immune support, hardcore. Absolutely. Um, oh, Zena says oregano in her pasta sauce. Absolutely. So if you make your own pasta sauce or you're putting together, um, I just made, you know, I don't, I, when we make spaghetti, I do that, right? Or if I make um, a big soup, I put um, like a little bit of that or maybe even some thyme in there and just create um, my own blends. But you guys, seriously, it is not a drop. One drop of peppermint is like 22 cups of tea. So you don't want 22 cups of oregano in any dish. So you're gonna dip a toothpick, otherwise you're gonna be yelling at this lady over here. <laughs> I wasn't clear. So one drop, um, it is hot. You have to dilute oregano, okay? If you're gonna put it topically, you must dilute. Um, internally, you're good to go, right? Okay, so the other thing that we have, and these are gonna be full bottles, but the other one that's for everything gross is tea tree, okay? Um, so tea tree is also for everything gross, um, but tree tree is really, really great for skin. You guys know it's in like hair products. It's in, you know, it's in every... Um, recipe for hair growth. It's really for us any recipe that um, is going to create help when you have um, a lice infestation in your kindergarten class, right? So people with little kids, um, tea tree is game changing in a spray bottle to spray things down. It's really good with an addition of clove. Um, lice do not like clove nor um, tea tree. So I just use distilled water maybe even a little witch hazel, put those two together and spray everything down when my kiddos were in elementary school and um, create this for other people. Or um, the old name for it, Stephen, is Melaleuca. So we changed this, the name from Melaleuca to tea tree because it, it was tea tree. Um, so it would just be a little less complicated with a different, with the Melaleuca company, right? So they, they put it back to its original name. Um, so that was less confusing, okay? So now that we've gotten to the gross stuff, right? We've gotten through the gross, we got tea tree. Tea tree is, is um, like if you have like even a even like a raised area on your, on your skin, it's gonna be really good for that. Um, another thing, it's really good internally if you're feeling yucky to go with oregano. Um, we're gonna have two more oils in here, two or three more oils in here that's gonna be in that flute bomb. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about them, about them as we go. Okay. <laughs> so we did briefly talk about lemon, right? Um, Chris really likes lemon in, um, in a pot on her stove. You guys, I use lemon to clean with on guard all over my household. Okay. You can use lemon to create your own, um, dusting cleaner. Uh, one thing that I do know, um, Oh, you're making, he's Steven's making fun of me. Okay. So um, one thing I do know is cleaning products really attack people's respiratory systems. Okay. I have a lowered respiratory system. I had feelings of that a long time ago. Um, I don't anymore because I take care of what I'm around. My daughter was born with the same thing and we don't really struggle with it because we have tools in our toolbox and we don't carry those things around. But if you've ever had respiratory distress and you've been around cleaners, you know, as soon as you inhale things like Lysol, 
it absolutely stops you from breathing instantly because it's oil based and it attacks, it attaches to all the nares and hairs in your throat and your nose. So you can't breathe. And so, um, one thing you can do is an easy swap, right? In your, and I know this is a med medicine cabinet swap, but this is an easy swap for a natural household cleaner. Um, obviously, really great detox, right? In your water, in your lemonade, in your, uh, it's great in lemon meringue pie. It's great for all things, right? Fruit, dip, um, but it's a really good cleaner. It will clean Sharpie off of anything, okay? Let's just be honest. It is amazing. Have your kids ever gotten a Sharpie fight? No, just mine. That's teenagers. Yeah, oh, like a bottle of lemon oil. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Anyway, so it works. It's amazing. I watched girls like take Sharpie off of their little kids' face because they're like, I was just coloring. I was like, oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I put that on Facebook, but it's cute. I'm so glad it's your kids. Okay. Okay. So lemon is, is really awesome for all the things you can cook with it. You can clean with it. You can use it internally for detoxing, flushing your system. It smells amazing and purifies the air. So all the ways, right? There are three amazing ways to use essential oils. Aromatically. We talked about Chris is like a diffuser or in my pot, right? That's aromatically internally it's going to go in that flute bomb as well we're going to talk about immunity um and it goes in that flute bomb that's when you're not feeling very good it's going to enhance your health uh and then um cleaning your house okay so topically aromatically and internally all right sue and i's favorite mr frankincense okay this is the king of all oils you guys um, frankincense is amazing because it is the chemistry of it is so, so spectacular. Uh, the ability, it breaks the blood brain barrier. Um, it, the chemistry of it is phenomenal to really enhance our cellular vitality. Okay. In short term, it's going to help your body heal. It's going to enhance your immunity. It's going to make you feel um, better and it's going to help your, your brain and your mindset. Okay. Um, like I said, I put a drop under my tongue every single day for mindset or just central, just lowers my anxiousness. All right. Let's just be real. Um, yeah, Kim, I understand that totally. Yep. See, Chris, you guys are, you guys are with me on this, right? It really affects your cleaners really affect your ability to breathe. And so these are easy swaps, um, to create, um, healthy options, just easy swaps and, uh, pennies per dose. My bottle of cleaner lasts me months, months. And it's seriously like three things simple. Okay. Um, so frankincense, I used to get, um, really, really bad head tension, uh, and so my head tension uh, has alleviated using my LLV or my vitamins that we have through doTERRA. They really promote your body to heal from the inside out. Um, but if I would ever, or if I do ever get that, um, most likely it's because of a, a lot of stress that have, have, has been going on. I just put a drop of frankincense on, the, on my thumb and I hold it to the roof of my mouth for about 30 seconds. And that that discomfort or those blood vessels relax almost instantaneously within a minute. So my question for you, like if you guys have had head tension, right? You guys know what that experience is. You know how just how much pain that is when you have that repeated repeatedly every single day. Would you rather take an hour to get relief or would you rather it to go away in like 30 to seconds to 60 seconds, right? I would choose 30 to 60 seconds and it's natural. I don't have to go anywhere to purchase it. I already have it in my toolbox, but it's natural and it's not gonna have a side effect. The other thing that's really good for um, head tension is one we talked about that is um, Amanda White's favorite right now is peppermint. Um, it does the same thing. You can rub it on the side of your temples, the back of your brainstem. It's going to relax even the, even your muscles on the top of your shoulders. It's going to relax all this. It's going to, um, just release that tension. Okay. Yep. It's going to lower your body temperature. So, but it's, so it just relaxes everything, uh, really great in brownies. All right, Brooke, if you want to make a batch of brownies for me, um, I really like peppermint my brownies. It tastes amazing. Again, one drop because our our oils are significantly powerful um one drop goes a long way uh the chemistry is powerful that's really all you need 
uh, to use, to use, especially for cleaning. Now I am kind of a dumper on my diffuser. I put two to three drops of each oil that I use in my diffuser and I normally use three oils, but peppermint is really good for digestive support, head tension, lowering your body temperature. Um, great for cooking. If you want that, you know, peppermint bark or, you know, Christmas things, um, fragrances in your diffuser that you want that, that, that smell, um, that calming or that easy breathing, uh, peppermint's really good for that as well. Any questions so far? We've gone through four oils already. Uh, I, I have a question. So mm -hmm. how would you use the oils to help your breathing? Like, like could I Great use question. it as an inhaler, like before I exercise? Mm -hmm. So there is inhalers for essential oils. Um, that's a great question, Kim. Thank you for asking. There is a, there is inhalers for essential oils. You can purchase like oil at Oil Life um, because I know that you, I, I hear you, I see that you um, need that, that assistance or that enhancement. Um, you can use them in a diffuser. Um, so even if you had a diffuser in your car on the way to go work out, or if it was an issue with you um, during the day, you can have something in your car. Um, you could have them on a bracelet or you can smell them from the bottle okay or you can roll them on you and you can smell them or that's going to help your breathing right so you're going to roll you're going to roll that on your chest your bronchioles the front and even the back if you can reach or have somebody do that um, also in between your toes and in between your fingers is your sinuses okay so if you're stuffed up and you can't breathe or if you have that pressure in between those are reflex points, all right? So that, that would also help you breathe easier. Great question, did that answer? Perfect, okay, perfect. Um, so peppermint goes a long way, it's really, really great. Um, I know this is a roller, so I just wanted to show you guys that there is opportunity for most of our top 10 to be rollers or um, full bottles of undilution. And this one is a, is a roller, it's a touch, it is already diluted. All of our rollers that say touch on them have coconut oil in them. Um, so one thing I've learned in my 10 years, some people have a nut allergy, okay? Um, so side note, if you have a nut allergy, don't purchase an oil that says touch on it because it's gonna have coconut oil in it, okay? Um, if your kiddos have a nut allergy, don't use them, okay? So I know some of us are really new here and I just wanted to put that out there because it has been a question, which is a great question. There are other um, oils out there that we can use, right? Because almond oil is another use we use. It's a nut. Um, so maybe some people are just like, just peanut is an allergy. Um, but you just got to be really careful. You don't want to um, create anything um, that is not necessary, right? Um, so I would just get a bottle that's undiluted and use your own personal, you know, we have rollers in our back office. They're, it's easy to make a roller, right? Coconut oil is just easier. We have it. Um, but there's other oils out there. We even, I don't even know if all of our oils we have, we have a body oil and a sensitive skin oil. They probably all have coconut oil. I haven't really looked at all of them to know for sure, but there is ways to um, you get diluted without having a, a um, nut oil, okay? All right. So the first oil I ever used and the oil that Steven loves the most is deep blue, right? The reason that deep blue came in handy for me was discomfort. Um, and so I really had shoulder discomfort which limited my ability to move and do my job and take care of my kids like I wanted to when they were young. And so deep blue is specifically for discomfort. It is specifically for a topical um, use. Uh, it is undiluted in this form. So what we would do is we would use it topically one drop at a time, um, or you create your own roller with it, okay? Uh, and so you would just put 10, 15 drops of, of deep blue in a roller, fill it up with your choice of um, fractionated coconut oil or whatever you wanted to dilute it with. And then you would have it with you all the time for discomfort. Um, I do love adding other oils to that. Like we talked about helichrysum, like we talked about um, frankincense, right? And um, those oils really, really enhance um, the 
ability to help with different discomforts or the reasons or the root cause of different discomforts, even aroma touch. But we're just really talking about the top 10 right now. If you guys have discomfort, pain is my jam. Um, so we can absolutely talk about different ways or different um, remedies to help with that specific issue, okay? So Deep Blue is only for topical use, okay? That is what we use it for. It has a child-proof cap on it for that reason. We do not diffuse it. We do not use it internally, okay? It doesn't need diluted. It is blue, but it goes away pretty quickly. It's not like blue tansy or yarrow palm where you're like, is this going to go away? Yarrow palm does, but blue tansy, it's, it's kind of blue for a minute, okay? <laughs> Um, so anyway, I know I showed the roller here, but then went to deep blue. So breathe is to breathe easy. Okay. So this is the one that's going to really help you guys with that respiratory distress that you have. Um, it was a game changer for my child. Uh, you can smell it. You can roll it the back. You know, the bronchioles are in the back and the bronchioles are in the front, right? Um, they can just smell it and get out of that panicky feeling of not being able to breathe. So that would go for yourself, right? Kiddos or adults. It reduces panicky feeling even if it's not respiratory um, enhanced, if you get my drift. So if you guys have anxiousness that creates, it doesn't go away and it creates a panicky feeling, breathe or the breathe stick will help you calm down and let you guys get air. Okay, um, my kiddo um, uses the breathe stick because it's emulsified and it's it's kind of, I say it's hotter, but it's not hot. It's just more like Vixie. So it's kind of more mentholatum-y, just stronger breeze smell. Um, and so she doesn't even have to use it or apply it. She smells it, okay? Um, so win-win right there, okay? So this is in your top 10, breathe, stick, breathe, breathe oil undiluted so you can make whatever you want, right? Um, the next oil is an oil blend as well. And this is on guard again, this is in your flute remedy, right? Remedy so far we have oregano, tea tree, lemon, Frank and on guard, right? Um, and so, um, on guard has a wider range of essential oils in it to clean anything. Okay. It's basically antibacterial. It's got clove and wild orange and all these amazing oils. It's going to clean surfaces um, better than anything else, um, stronger. And it smells good, okay? We have a whole line of on-guard products or immune products that are on-guard based, all right? So if immunity is your jam and you really need to up-level your immunity, if that's your focus, we have an entire system in place to help you um, really deliver that for your family. Uh, I use on-guard and lemon in almost every cleaner I make for my house, okay? Super easy, I already have it. It is 10 to 20 drops of this in a liter bottle of, of liquid, right? And then 10 to 15 drops of lemon in a liter bottle of liquid, a little bit of vinegar, and I fill it with water. Super easy for a cleaner, right? And it cost me, I can't remember, Amanda, we did that class not very long ago. It was like, with the bottle, was like, yeah, under $4 and it lasts me forever. And I'm going to say out loud, I do have four bathrooms. <laughs> Go ahead. So you do tw 10 to 20 drops of lemon on guard, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. just a little apple cider vinegar or vinegar? White vinegar. White like vinegar. a tape, like a, like a fourth of a cup of white vinegar. Um, I don't have my big bottle in here, but my bottle is like 16 ounces, right? It's like a, if you drink a big jug of water to go to work. Yes, thank you. Very good question. Um, so On Guard is really great for the diffuser too. Um, I know we all like to diffuse things to clean the air and to um, help our health, uh, but it smells good. So it smells like Christmas in your house. So it's really great in the fall to add with like, with like um, a woods, like, like Northern escape or something like that. More clove if you want to, just to create that atmosphere. If you're diffusing oils, you're going to do one. You're going to clean the toxins in the air, the allergens, all that kind of stuff, right? You're going to create a mood in your environment and you're going like, you're going to walk into, and you're like, oh, well, that kind of is nice, right? but you're gonna help your body, right? It's gonna be immunity function every single time you're putting oils in the air, okay? 
So all three, all three things um, are beneficial. All right, we have two more. You guys are doing awesome. Any questions? We're going fast because this is my favorite set of oils. We're just rocking and rolling. All right, digestion. So when your kiddos or you or I, you guys, I got food poisoning. We're gonna just talk about me, me a little selfish. I got food poisoning <laughs> on my anniversary. It was great. I loved it. No, I didn't love it. Okay, so I needed this essential oil and I did not bring it. So I'm just letting you know, when you leave town, take your jewel box. Cause I, I seem to say, I always, for, I always would bring it. And then my kid reminded me, you always say, I will never not bring it again. Um, so digestion is for digestive support. If you have gas, if you have, if you're experiencing some heartburn, if you're experiencing some discomfort, if you need to enhance or help your digestive system any way to function more or less, digestion is going to help you. Put a drop in your belly button, rub it on your belly, put a drop underneath your tongue or in down the hatch. It tastes like black licorice. If you don't like black licorice, it's not gonna kill you. I promise it's going to help you. Um, but if you don't like the taste of it, you can get a soft gel so you can't taste it. It has three drops of digestion in it, um, but you already have it ready to go. You can create your own roller or there is already a roller ready for you. Um, but I miss this oil so much. The oil that I brought was Breathe and I had tea tree. So yes, I used tea tree on my feet because I knew it was going to get all the gross, right? It's going to help everything gross and help my immunity. And I had breathe, which has peppermint and all these other oils in it. It has cardamom in it, right? To digest and help your, your, your stomach. But I just needed that coolness of the peppermint. And so I used it. Um, so you really, the reason to have essential oils is to have a dang toolbox <laughs> to when you least expect crap to happen. And um, food poisoning wasn't fun. I am here today. I'm alive. Um, I don't know about min or minty gin ginger, Chris. That's a great question. Um, digestion has really great oils. Let's discuss what's in here really quick. It has anise, it has peppermint, it has ginger root, it has caraway, coriander, tarragon, and fennel. Okay. So it does have really great digestive supporting oils. Another thing that we do have that okay, Mr. Shannon didn't bring, we have ginger drops. Okay, really great for pregnant women, right, Brooke? <laughs> Do you remember that? We have ginger drops, but they all also really help with anything that supports your body with nausea, okay? If there is a reason that you have nausea um, routinely or not routinely, it just really calms down the digestive um, acids. Um, digestion is, is another thing that I have dealt with. I have an issue with food. Um, which my friend Stephanie is going to help me with. I don't really want to say I have an issue with food. I have to pay attention to what I eat greatly. That is a much better way of saying that. Um, and so when I get food like gluten or dairy in my system, which my system does not enjoy, digestion products really help me feel better quickly. So digestion does come in an oil in the top 10, right? We have other products like digested tabs, which really is kind of like a natural Tums. So if you use Tums for something in your house right now, it's an easy swap. Again, I want to tell you the anise is strong in the digested tabs, okay? But they are, health, they are a healthier version. There's nothing bad in them. They are chewable. Um, and they work really quickly to take away the discomfort that you feel. Okay. Any questions about digestion? That was a great, that was a great question, Chris. Thank you for asking. Again, not one that I would diffuse necessarily. I would use this one topically or internally. Okay. You could, I mean, there's no reason you can't, but it's not really going to smell the best. Does that make sense? All right, and the last oil we have is lavender. And you guys, there is 101 ways to use lavender. Um, we always think of lavender like lavender fields. And I know, Stephanie, right? Our, our dear friend and your cousin is laying in a lavender field tonight, living her best life on summer solstice. And I just want to be jealous. And I just want her to watch the recording and know that we're thinking of her right now, laying in a lavender field without us. Okay, now that we had that moment, 
Um, lavender is really calming, okay? It is really calming for kiddos. It's really calming for us, right? You can smell it, you can put it in diffuser. It is amazing for all things calming, but it is phenomenal for skin, okay? If you, just like tea tree, if you have something going on your skin, if you get a raised abrasion, if you, <laughs> Stephanie, if you, um, if you get scratches or like a cat scratch or you or your kids have basketball and they need to be bubble wrapped and they fall a lot, um, those red marks go away really fast when you use, um, when you use lavender, okay? Uh, one thing about lavender that is phenomenal is it a natural antihistamine. Okay, so we did talk about flute, right? Which is the enhancing your immunity balm, right? You can place that in a roller. Um, sorry, there's a new human here. I apologize, I didn't see her coming in. Um, and so you can put that, those essential oils, uh, frankincense, hey, hey, Katie. Um, you can put frankincense, uh, oregano, lemon, tea tree, and on guard in a roller. You can put it in a capsule and take it internally three to four times a day until you feel well. Okay. That is how you, that is the flute bomb. You can unmute if you have a question, Amanda. Um, but we do have three oils in here also in the top 10 collection of the Dodera has in the top 10 kit is peppermint, lemon, and lavender. So lemon is twice, right? You have a lot of uses for lemon. Um, and it is the blend for seasonal threats, okay? Because lemon is going to flush your system. It's gonna detox you, thin out your mucous membranes. Uh, peppermint is going to calm everything and lavender is a, nano, is a natural antihistamine. And so the triad of these three essential oils uh, is really useful for that. So you can use it in a diffuser. You can um, create a blend on a diffuser bracelet. You can use a roller and create your own blend so you can keep it with you all the time. And it does come in a soft gel form with all of them together called Tri Ease. Okay. Welcome, Katie. Where are you coming in from? From Maryland. Maryland. Nice to meet you. Have you ever used essential oils before? I've used a couple. Um, okay. Like you can add them to like water, right? Like mm -hmm. lemon. I add yeah. lemon to my water a lot. Perfect. Yeah, we, we love, we talked about that earlier. Thank you so much for sharing and thank you for being here tonight. Um, and so lemon is great for that, right? It detoxes, it detoxifies you. It flushes your system. It thins out your mucous membrane. So if you do have problems with respiratory health, if you are kind of like cruddy in the nose or sinuses, it's gonna thin down those mucous membranes, allow you to sleep or allow your kiddos to sleep better. Um, and that triad of the three of them is gonna be powerful. Um, Amanda asked what the flute bomb was, it's F-L-O-O-T. So it's that flute. So it's frankincense, lemon, oregano, on guard, and tea tree. And in a capsule, it would be four drops of each. In a roller, in a 10 mil roller, it's 10 drops of each in a 10 mil roller, and then fill the rest up with your choice of dilution. Um, if I don't feel well, or if I'm like super cruddy in the sinus issue, right? If I need to thin down my mucous membranes, you guys, I'll just take a capsule of lemon, right? So I'll just put 10 drops of lemon in a capsule and I'll take it once a day. Or when I wake up, I'll have like lukewarm or warm water and I'll put like five drops of lemon in it. And that's how I start my day to flush my system and get going. If I have seasonal threats, if I need to just like, Whoa. and yes, it is kind of puckery. Amanda, I like that face. Yes, Esther, it gets you right up. You're like, whoop, ready for the day. Well, if people, if Steven can do slim and sassy, you can do lemon, all right? You need to suck it up. I think two drops is kind of, woo, like that'll, that'll make you pucker up. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so funny. Oh my God. So you guys, there were just so many easy ways to use 
just these these 10 oils, right? I know there is a lot of essential oils. I do not like sending people to the full website of all of the things, right? So basically what I really love to know is what your focus is, why you need a remedy to enhance your health and how I can help you utilize doTERRA to do that, right? Um, I do not want to forget to let you guys know it is BOGO. <laughs> so to, we have um, the BOGO box. And so I think the BOGO box might be gone. I would have to look. Um, but today's BOGO is Purify and Citronella. So when you buy a Purify, you get citronella for free, okay? Um, and so all week long, there is a new BOGO every single day. Uh, I know yesterday at like five or something, it was 90%, the box of all 10 was 90% taken. I don't know if it's still available. I have not been on social media today, which is super crazy. I know, um, but there is one new one every single day of the top five um, that have been shown on my on my sites. And, and Brooke, I know that you can share that information with, um, with the humans that are in your house um, for this, this specials. It's just a great way to get some different oils that you wouldn't necessarily know about, but they're perfect for summer, right? Um, so far, we know that you, um, let me look at it because I'm not going to remember them. Um, neroli. <sighs> yes, there is. I don't know if you're being serious though, so... I can't trust you anymore, Stephen. We're having a backdoor conversation here. Um, the BOGO box is Purify, cit oh, Citronella. So it's not Citron. What oil was it today? Purify, uh, Citronella, oh, Cilantro, excuse me. Can't read without my glasses, apparently. Purify, Cilantro, Digestin, Neroli, and Copaiba. And so these are, it's a really, it's called a summertime BOGO. Um, and they're powerful to help you assist in anything summertime, right? Purify is going to help the beach towels and all the things, and it's going to clean the air with the summer allergens. Um, it's going to help you clean. I've used it for cleaners as well. Cilantro is going to pull heavy metals out. It's going to pull out the alcohol from your system. It's going to detoxify you. Um, it's also going to clean the air, and it's really good in salsa. <laughs> all right? You can make anything summertime in it, right? Digestion is going to be the support what you need when you go out and you get too hot. Um, I, I got overheated one summer on Father's Day and I got heat exhaustion. Digestion was my game changer to survive the rest of the day. Um, so you don't have to just think about I feel yucky or I'm constipated or I'm running to the bathroom. It could just be that absolute fatigue, that stomach imbalance, right? Um, and then uh, neroli is um, just... Oh my God. I miss this oil so much. I actually lost it, which I, I, I just told the story yesterday um, that Amanda always tells me when you lose a crystal, somebody else needed it. You didn't need it anymore. So I took the rolly with me. I used it on my brainstem every single day. And I lost it at convention. And so I told somebody, well, somebody else must've needed it. But every day this week, I thought about neroli and then the BOGO box came out and I was like, sister, I'm getting the BOGO box because I haven't had neroli for almost a year. Anyway, so it's really good for brain support, like just your cognitive function. It calms you down. It is a flower, so it's really good for mood. Um, so yes, that would be really good, Stephen, if you really need that. And then copaiba. And these two are in a roller, so they're already ready, already diluted, ready to for you to use. Copaiba is going to help skin. It's going to help your emotions. It's going to help every organ in your system. So if you need liver support, if you need um, immunity support, if you need mindfulness support, all of it's going to be enhanced with Copaiba and it's already ready and diluted for you. Um, so that is powerful. So those are the ones we know. Today's BOGO is Purify and you get a Citronella. Citronella is um, for outside vermin. <laughs> it also is super protecting on emotions from other people. So it protects you, your emotions from outside threats, right? Um, same as seasonal threats. Yes, Miss Amanda, you have a question. I see it. Oh, what is the one? Hold on. Katie, one second. She asked a really good question. 
Oh, yeah. Um, so Katie said um, the one for respiratory health, uh, her dad has uh, COPD and we have a diffuser and wondering, yes, so breathe. Um, breathe is amazing for everything respiratory. Uh, honestly, if you have this issue, frankincense with breathe um, would be really great in the diffuser and maybe even Lyme. Um, I, I, I really, for a respiratory system like this, I always blend a wood oil, a tree oil. So frankincense is a tree, right? It's a resin um, with uh, enhancing for breathe and then something to lower the inflammation, right? Lime is really good for that as well, but you have lemon in this top 10 kit. So use what we have if you wanted, if you wanted to get this top 10 kit. Um, the next question you have, great question, Katie. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Um, so great question for all the women. Um, also, is there any oil for monthly situation? We have a really good oil called Clary Calm. Lavender is in this collection though, and lavender will help with that discomfort, that bloating, that, that, that pain and that inflammation really quickly, um, but more efficiently, more poignant for um, that monthly thing for women is Clary Calm. And it comes in a roller. Um, the one thing about this roller, you guys, I want to say there's a few oils that we have in the, in the collections that doTERRA has that are undiluted. And I would encourage you to dilute it because first of all, it's going to save you money because I'm all about saving you money. Right. But I really feel like, um, doTERRA's oils are really, really powerful and you could make at least two with it. So I would dump one half of it in another 10 mil roller and then make two rollers out of it. So you have a one to refill, right? You have an extra one and then you have the one right now, right? So you can actually get two rollers out of that. Another one that I always dilute is Immortel. Um, so Immortel is undiluted and um, I love Immortel for a lot of things. Immortel is a roller that is good for your face, all things health, all things skin, really powerful for immunity and emotions. It's amazing oil, right? Amanda is like, if you need anything, if you only get one thing, get a Mortel because it has frankincense. It has hell, it has all these amazing oils in it. Um, it's undiluted. And I really feel like you could make two, if not three out of it. And I've encouraged people to do that. I do use jojoba oil as my dilution because I'm going to put it on my face. Okay. Jojoba oil is the is better option for your face. Um, and then I also love putting your palm in that to add the benefit. Okay. If I'm gonna make a roller, I'm going to mix some stuff up. I'm going to do a DIY all the way. I'm going to add something else to it that I already have. Okay. Great questions, Katie. Great questions. Um, another one, if you have this collection of the top 10 deep blue would be a game changer. So you have lavender, you could layer it with deep blue. You're going to have that already helping that discomfort. Okay. If you just were like, what collection would I have that if I wanted to use something out of this kit that we're talking about today, you do have that opportunity to use lavender and then layer with deep blue, but great question. And remember, if you guys um, remember the picture that I posted in the event, if you guys saw the event, um, is there's a ton of reflex points on our body, okay? If you don't wanna take things internally, you don't have to. If you don't wanna put them on your upper body, you wanna use your feet, there is so, your entire body is in your feet and your hands. Okay. So if you live, if you work in a cubicle or you work in a small space, you're like, yeah, we can't, I work in a nursing home. We can't use fragrances. Like that was Naya's issue, right? My oldest child, she worked in a nursing home. They couldn't use any, they couldn't wear perfume of any fragrance because they were so close in contact with humans, but you can rub them on your feet and wear socks and shoes and no one else is going to know. And you're still going to get that support for your body. So like your instep or your big toe is your brain, your instep is your thyroid, your heel is this, right? There's a lot of reflex points in your feet. So um, we can be creative with how we get the, the help, right, um, of our body. So, um, so right, the, the three awesome things that ways to use them are aromatically, topically, and internally, right? They're powerful. They're reasonably priced because you need one drop, right? They're easy to use. The, it's written on the back of the bottle how to use them, right? Um, and they are medicinal or medical grade essential oils. They're the purest tested, most pure essential oils that we have. And the reason that they work so well is because they're chemistry. So they absolutely enhance our ability to help ourselves heal or support our body to get better or to support our brain to change our mindset, okay? 
however you use them, it's going to help you in a physical or an emotional um, need, okay, instantly, especially aromatically, you guys. Within seconds, your brain is gonna change to feel differently. So if you need help with being sad, if you need help with being focused, um, you could smell peppermint for focus, right? You can smell lavender for calmness. You can smell um, forgive, right? You don't have to apply them. You can, and I use them on me all the time. Um, and I use them internally. I use copaiba and frankincense, like I said, you guys, every single morning before I do anything else. So do you guys have any questions? I know it was fast, um, but it's 10 out of the most amazing oils that we have. There is all the ways, cooking, internal, um, cleaning, all the things we just kind of went over today. Um, you guys had great questions. Is there any other questions that you have at all? Anything that come up? Anything that you're like, wow, I've heard this class before and I didn't know that. <laughs> it happens a lot, doesn't it? Because different people ask different questions. Awesome. Well, this, is, this has been great. I am so glad that you guys were okay without our presentation. We just had a conversation. This is how I love teaching classes. This is what I would do if I came to your house and I was sitting in your house, Brooke, with your friends um, and your husband. I would just be like, hey, let's bring out the oils. Let's smell them. Let's touch them. And let's just talk, just talk, talk and answer questions. Um, that's how I like to do classes. Um, it's easy, fun, and it's quick. Um, thank you so much. If you invited somebody, let me know. Um, and make a trial conversation of who you invited. If you just accidentally came here, I am so glad you're here. Um, message me personally. I am Shannon Morrison, and I will help you get um, connected to, um, to different resources or remedies um, to enhance your life. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for being here. I cannot wait for you, sister, to get some essential oils to go with what you have already and your goodness and your cooking. I mean... We do have so many essential oils that can enhance um, flavors with one drop or an, a minuscule, a toothpick, right? A toothpick. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Kim invited you. Great. So thank you so much, so much, Katie. Um, and uh, oh my gosh, you guys have a very, very awesome rest of your evening. It's almost over for some of you. Uh, I am so excited to be here and I will see you at next class. Um, normally I have it already scheduled, uh, but tomorrow we do have a wellness Wednesday class at 1:15 central standard time. And it is oils for energy, oils for energy, right? So we're doing a miss Amanda. Um, and that will be in the group inner, um, renew your inner Yogi. Okay. We're going, we will go live, but we'll record it too. So if that time does not work for you, it's like 2:15 Eastern time. That is okay. But we are there every single week on Wednesday. So if it's your lunch hour, if you want to share with friends, if you're like, oh my gosh, I want to know more about this, follow us and just learn a little bit. It's about 15, 30 minutes. We're in and out. Um, it's a great conversation. Uh, I appreciate, I appreciate all of you guys for being here. So yeah, go, follow Renew Your Inner Yogi to learn more. Um, I will get in contact with people that invited you and you guys have an amazing, amazing evening and we'll talk to you next time. Okay. Thanks so much for being here, Kim.